What's up everybody? This is Aircrete Harry and in today's video the audio was corrupted so I'll be doing a voiceover. So this is day five of the dome building workshop and what we have behind me is a concrete ring beam being filled with aircrete. The aircrete is our insulator from the earth. So I'm showing today how to use a mortar mixer to make aircrete. So normally you use a 55 gallon drum to mix up your aircrete. You would have it marked off at your different uh, marks like 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 gallons so you knew how much foam to add. What we're going to be doing here today is using a timing method. So uh, and what we're going to end up doing is filling up a bucket with foam and we'll be timing how long it takes to fill that bucket up. And we'll use this uh, measurement uh, to calculate how much time we need to let the foam run uh, into the uh, mortar mixer. So I have my, uh, my buddy here, Nino. He's going to be doing the timing. There's Nino. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nino. Yay. All right, anyway. So um, what I'm going to end up doing is turning on the pump and uh, filling this bucket. So the main thing you ha have to do with your foam generator, well, with your Aircrete Harry foam generator, which you can purchase at aircreteharry.com, is you want to prime the line. You want to make sure you have foam solution in the foaming wand. So the barrel you see there is filled with water uh, in Drexel for my foaming agent. So I've primed the line now. I've turned the air on and so now I'm making foam. So now what we're going to do is time how long it takes to fill a five gallon bucket with foam and with that time we'll determine how much we need to add into our mortar mixer to get a 30 gallon mix. So this is going to come out to about 17 seconds and we have a five gallon bucket and so um, we need five five gallon buckets to equal our 23 gallons of foam that we add for our 30 gallon mix. So I don't want to confuse you. A 30 gallon mix you subtract the seven gallons that your cement slurry is makes and then you add the remainder so that would be 23 gallons but for this example we're just going to round it off to 25 so you have five buckets at 17 seconds uh, per five gallons what you call 85 seconds so this is the time we know we need to add foam into our mortar mixer and so we'll fill the mortar mixer up um, we'll be mixing it as we're adding foam to it for 85 seconds. So as an example, if you were making a 50 gallon mix, that would be 43 gallons of foam you'd be adding. So just to simplify, we'll round it off to 45. So that'll be nine times five is 45. And then it's gonna be nine times 17 for 17 seconds, which is gonna equal 153 seconds. So you'd need 153 seconds of foam added to the machine to equal a 50 gallon mix. So we're making a 30 gallon mix here in this video. So uh, we're actually going to be making two bags of cement at the same time. So all my numbers are going to be doubled. <clears throat> so 85 and 85 is going to be 170 seconds. So this is a... Um, this is a, a, an additive you can get from your local masonry store. It's for air entrainment. And um, it's great to add to your cement slurry. Only about two ounces of this stuff you add to your cement slurry. And it'll help make your air creep more consistent. Um, it's good stuff to use. And uh, I'm sorry the label's not there. Uh, I'll, um, I'll see if I can find... A label and uh, put it in the description box and this here is a uh, cement thickening agent it's actually going to be the Aircrete Harry thickener <laughs> and it should be available uh, later this year um, the only way to get this stuff is to order a tote you need like 250 gallons and um, nobody will need that much for any project they're doing. Like, 
you could probably get away with just a gallon to do your entire house, to build your whole house of aircrete. So um, I'm going to get the big tote and offer it in gallon sizes. So um, you see, seen I, uh, I added uh, uh, actually 11 gallons of water. And um, I'll be adding two 92-pound bags of cement, uh, letting that mix up, and then adding the foam to it. And you'll see this whole process now. So I got to say, uh, that's Curtis who's passing me the cement bags. Uh, he took a couple of other workshops and um, uh, the way he described my workshop was advanced. And I didn't really think about it, but uh, he's right. It's uh, an advanced workshop because you're learning how to build a dome to code. So you'll be able to build anywhere in the United States or other countries for sure, but uh, just concerning myself with building codes in the United States, you'll be able to build this structure in the United States and pass all building codes. Um, the designs we come up with, uh, I'll, I'll also be offering on my website floor plans and uh, 3D renderings of uh, models of a home. So if you have a home idea and you have a bunch of circles, you know, I can take those circles and do a basic floor plan layout as well as a 3D model of how it would look. And um, I can also uh, point you to the structural engineer to help you get your uh, engineering so that you can uh, abide by the building codes in your area, in your county or wherever you are. So here we're adding the foam to the um, cement slurry to make our air creep. So if you notice the Air Creed Harry foam generator hanging there from the barrel, the benefit of that foam generator is you're not limited by a container where you can only put X amount of foam solution. With the Air Creed Harry foam generator, you could literally fill a 55 gallon drum with water, add your uh, foaming agent, and just make foam continuously. As you see here, um, I could make hundreds of gallons of foam continuously with the Aircrete Harry foam generator, which is available at aircreteharry.com. So these mortar mixers, they're available for rent, for purchase. I have my own uh, mixer pump that I'll be coming out with uh, pretty soon. I'm still working on it, still developing it. Um, but it will be available and able to make Aircrete, mix Aircrete, uh, epic uh, latex cement you'll be able to spray it it'll be a very versatile machine perfect for anyone building their own home here I am uh, just smoothing out the surface of the aircrete and then uh, this is around 5 p.m. where we are doing this and we'll be back in the morning uh, which is the next clip coming up uh, around 8 in the morning we're here uh, and we're preparing to put the air form on to inflate it to begin making the next dome. But anyway, uh, I have another dome building workshop coming up soon. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel and my website. Peace out. I love you all and I'll catch you later.